then I would say, look, a career is not, is not a sprint, it's, it's a long uh, distance run. And, and watch out not to condition your professional happiness with the end station. Don't condition your professional happiness with the end station. Because you may be, you may be in with some frustration. It would be a pity that you come at the end and say, my life was a failure. Uh, and you wait your whole life to know that. Uh, I think what you have to do is to, to make sure you enjoy the journey. You have to do what you like to do. You have to do uh, it with your colleagues. Uh, but like the journey. And, and, and it's not a straight line. Sometimes you're going to have setbacks and all. See perspective, detaching home. Uh, but enjoy the journey. And you will get where you want to get. With all these different stakeholders, you face a lot of criticism. How do you deal with the criticism? First, uh, don't take it personal. That's definitely, don't take it personal. Um, we criticize because we are a sizable company. Um, uh, and I always said, um, I say, say that high trees catch more winds. We do. We are also a company that are part of people's lives active part of people's lives, we're not somebody, no, our brands are on the table, they touch, etc. We're a company that is understood in its value chain, hence also criticized by every step. Mm -hmm. um, and yet criticism is, 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 is meaningful in the sense of, uh, 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 first, it keeps you humble. I. And I repeat it because uh, really still so relevant to me is this what I learned from a professor from India. I wasn't an IMD. Uh, detached involvement, which which is actually saying, hey, you you you're the main actor of your own life. In other words, you're on the scene, acting your life, and you're always at the same time be capable of being on the scene and yet at the same time observe yourself from the public. Which gives you perspective, gives you context, gives you a little bit of relativity. Take, uh, there's nothing worse than taking yourself too serious, uh, because you can, but you can judge better. And, 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 and that has to do with many situations where you say, hey, and you, you feel overwhelmed and all that. Two steps back, observe, watch out. It's a little bit like these terms like, count, before you react, count to one, two, three. It's a little bit the same thing, but it has, a, in my eyes, a, a better, a, a better um, explanation of how it works, the dynamics of observing yourself at the same time of being yourself. Welcome to What is Good Leadership. I'm looking forward to an inspiring guest, Paul Buke, Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Nestle Group. Nestle is one of the largest companies in the world. The company employs approximately 270,000 people around the globe. In 2021, the company had sales of 87.1 billion Swiss francs. Nestle sells over 2,000 brands worldwide and operates 350 factories in 79 countries around the globe. For over 150 years, Nestle has been committed to providing safe, quality nutrition. The company sells in 186 countries around the world. Paul Buke has been chairman of the board of directors at Nestle since 2017, prior to which he was chief executive officer at Nestle from 2008 to 2016. Overall, he has a career spending more than 40 years at Nestle, where he began his career in 1979. Beyond his current role at Nestle, he is Vice Chairman of the Board of Directors at L'Oreal and Chairman of the Community of Chairperson at the World Economic Forum. He is also a member of the Board of Trustees at Avenir Suisse, member at JP Morgan International Council and Co-Chairman at 2030 Water Resources Group. I wish you an interesting and insightful conversation with Paul Bucher.